questions that you are seeing in your neighborhood face groups, uh, Facebook groups. Where can I find an at-home COVID test? Many stores are still sold out at the moment, and similarly, many are asking where to find a PCR test. As we are still seeing very long lines like these, and they are snaking their way around testing facilities, people have to wait a very, very long time. Now that scramble for any kind of test has left many searching for options. There doesn't seem to be a lot out there right now, so Caitlin Ross turned to Dr. Jane Morgan, who heads Piedmont's COVID task force for her perspective. People are really feeling stuck. They can't find the at-home antigen tests, but they don't want to wait in line for hours to get a PCR test. So Dr. Morgan, if people are feeling sick, what do you suggest? Mm -hmm. So the PCR tests are the absolute gold standard. Uh, when you take these tests, it takes about two days for those results to come back. The at-home tests are very convenient. You're able to self-administer them. While supplies of the at-home tests are ramping up under President Biden's emergency order, many people are still wondering about their accuracy. It's about 85% when you have symptoms. Symptoms certainly often correlate with viral load. The higher your viral load, the more sensitive these tests are going to be. The further out you are away from symptoms, the less accurate they are going to be. If you test negative once with one of those at-home tests, should you assume that that's accurate or keep trying? In order to increase the sensitivity, you might want to do serial testing. So test over a period of days, on day one, on day three, on day five. But Dr. Morgan says finding those at-home tests to do serial testing is still a challenge. With each uh, surge, we have had our challenges. As we get over this and the supply ramps up, this will not be an issue, but currently, absolutely, supply is an issue. Demand is outstripping supply.